where she was from after the second three, and she told me she was from Puerto Rico. I got the messages. The messages in my phone. I don't even understand how the fuck this went over my head all these years. This shit's so crazy, y'all. This, and it just to tell you, just show y'all how crazy this shit is. I say, I asked, I said, do you currently live there? It's in the messages. She said yes. So you told me you currently live in Puerto Rico. Cool. I, that's, that's what it is. You from Puerto Rico, you live in Puerto Rico. And we were talking, I said, text me, send her my number. I got a 334 area code. Y'all gotta hear the story. But she texted me, she had the same area code, 334. So I was kind of like shocked, like, oh shit, you, you in Alabama, you got the same area code that I got, what the fuck? You feel what I'm saying? So we chopping it up, we chopping it up, we chopping it up, we meet, you know what I'm saying? We lock in, whatever. Now, a month go by. Now, this is what y'all don't know. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all the shit that y'all didn't know. Watch this shit. They gonna fuck y'all head up. Now, She getting into it, her brother, her mama, her, her brother getting into it with their mama, right? So she tell me she had to move out. That's how we end up moving in the green room, remember? I love Alabama. I mean, I love New York Springs, my hometown, 45 minutes away in a whole nother city. I was driving from a whole nother city to go down here to the hospital, right? And I decided to kind of like move in with her because I, I felt sorry for her. Like you just went from like a little decent house and now you living in this small little room, whatever. Ooh. She get a call from her mama. I never forget this. Because I tell me I never get this shit. This is crazy shit. She texts and tell her that. She say, hey, I'm sorry. I'm not your mom. I told y'all this already. I'm not your mom. My sister is your mom, which she got a twin sister. Like her mama got a twin sister. So her auntie, she told this, this is what I'm hearing. So y'all got to hear me out. Everything going to make sense when I tell y'all. So this is what her mom telling her. This is what her mom telling her. And I'm sitting here and I'm listening to this. I can't believe this shit. So. Supposedly, her real, so, so supposedly her mom tell her this, her mom say, your real mom died. I'm your auntie. I'll got you to take care of you for your mom or whatever. And she like, you don't have papers and all this type weird stuff with it, right? All right. So I'm young, I'm 18, I'm still trying to figure this shit out, trying to figure out what's going on. Like what's, you know, I'm, I'm a young nigga, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm all right. So this is what y'all feel to realize. I was popular before I met her on Facebook. And a lot of y'all don't know this shit. I gotta get y'all research. I was already like on my way to my success already. I was already here. here. If you go back and do your research, you'll see that nigga was already popular on Facebook. I had already made the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel was already made. It was my YouTube channel. I had it with my ex. I was gonna use my ex for YouTube, which I don't know. So she tell her, she tell her, she tell her that she not her real mom and all this shit. So we we kind of like thrown off, like it's, like, it's weird, like, damn, imagine your mama come tell you that, hey, 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 daughter, um, I'm not your real mom, your mom died, I'm your auntie, and woo, all this shit, right, like, so imagine how you would feel, to put yourself in our shoes for a second, something like, fuck, like, damn, woo, so long story short, in so many words, we find out that, you know what I'm saying, she's not legal, whatever, right, cool, we get this, if, that, if, that, if that's what the case was, if that's what it was, I understand it. Well, tell me why today, I don't know what the fuck God doing, he sent signs. I had to go back and really, as I'm talking to this nigga, it started hitting me. Oh, shit, you was lying to me from the beginning. You you lied and told me you from Puerto Rico from the beginning, right? So now I'm going to show y'all something. Now y'all probably saying, Corey, why you saying this? If you go look, she got a tattoo on her arm that says seven days and eight nights. A lot of y'all be asking what that tattoo mean. That tattoo mean because she, she walked from her door seven days, eight nights. If you knew already you walked seven days and eight nights from your country here, why you lied to me and told me that you were Puerto Rican? Alright, now, nah, all this go. I love you. Don't get me twisted. Don't get it wrong. It, it, I loved you. So when I found out this shit, I was really like moving out of like out of care. Like, damn, I care. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a goddamn. You know what I'm saying? If I gotta get married to help you get your shit, you feel me? Like I love you. I, I'm gonna get married. Fuck that good. At a young age, my mama even kept asking me, "You sure you wanna do this?" I'm like, "Yeah, man. Yeah, mama, do this." Ooh, I, I did. I'm, I'm telling y'all some powerful shit. Her mama already knew. 
what their intentions were with me. Come to find out. Her mama had already knew that you was, she was illegal. And y'all keep saying she's legal. Like, no, you can't tell me that I, what I know. Like, I'm working at the same job. Well, she was working at a job at the honey plant. When we found out, I, I didn't even know. I found this shit out. I just never tripped. She was working on a, under a whole other name. She, it wasn't her name she was working under at this job. You feel what I'm saying? So I never tripped. I got my granddad involved trying to help her with this situation. All these years I've been trying to help with this situation, but it pisses me off now to realize, like, God damn, like, nigga, I was lied to the whole time from the fucking beginning, and I didn't know it because I was young. A lot of young black men get trapped like this, but luckily I'm not uh, just, uh, I'm not just dumb, you feel what I'm saying? And I don't know how this shit unfolded the way it unfolded. I never would have, in many years, all the years, seven years, it never dawned on me, bro. This shit never dawned on me. And the reason it's crazy because y'all don't understand what's been going on way before all this shit transitioned. Now I'm looking back at a lot of shit that was going on that y'all don't know about. And it all coming to me and it's all adding. It's like, bing, 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 bing. I was just like, I'm fuck. I'm like, nigga. And that's probably the reason why I feel the way I feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, people, everybody keep thinking I'm just hurt. Bro, I'm not hurt, bro. I'm not miserable. I'm not bitter at all. You feel me? It's a difference when you telling your side of your story. So therefore, people can see, like, why the fuck this nigga feel the way he feel? Because men always get shut down. Y'all don't never want to let her tell how we feel because y'all feel like we don't got no feelings. I'm over here dealing with a fucked up situation right now. Nigga, I just found out that these motherfuckers been new the whole time. I got, I did this shit the whole time. And let me tell y'all why. Man, all right, and it makes sense. A lot of shit making sense right now. Just last, a couple months ago, before all this shit happened, I've been dealing with this shit for six years with lawyers. I spent hella bread on lawyers trying to get all this shit to fix. You have green card or something. We've we been praying. I'm talking about y'all understand. This is something that I prayed about, bro. I've just been hoping, like, man, look, that's why I held, my, held back on my success for so long. That's why I couldn't travel the way I want to travel. That's why I couldn't do certain business moves. That's why I couldn't do certain shit with her because this situation. So all the years I've been trying my best to help her get this shit together because like I love you. I believe it. I'm thinking you could be the one who will be together. Woo, woo, woo. All right, cool. Just to find out the whole time, you, of course you love a nigga. Y'all females play these games. I'm woke now, my eyes open, so it ain't nothing y'all can tell me now. I see this, this shit for what it is. Of course you fall in love with a nigga. Of course, of, of, of course you feel, of course I love this nigga. Hell, he don't know that I need him just as bad as he motherfuckers like he might need me. I'm, of course I'm gonna goddamn stay with you when you when you fuck up and you gonna make a mistake. Cause if I, cause I have to ask myself, I say, in my song, in my freestyle, I, I get like, damn. Why, if, if, why, if, why you stay after all the times I fucked up? Is this love really real? Or are you just benefiting from it? You know what I'm saying? And you got tolerance now to put up with some of the shit. That's why you're dealing with it. It ain't what you said was the whole time. You know what I mean? So, damn, I want to show y'all the message so bad. I want to show y'all the message so bad. It hit different when I show it to y'all. Y'all reading this shit, bro. It hits, you know what? I think I got that bitch on the other right? Let me see what Nah, I don't got it in this phone. Hmm, I might got it in my other phone. I posted before though. I posted on Instagram. The message is on Instagram. Go look at the message. The message is that you gonna see it for yourself. What I'm telling y'all now ain't even me just making up nothing. Nigga, this shit is out there. It's there. Now that's a lot of shit that y'all don't know that I'm telling y'all, but it's like the the first beginning of the cause all y'all said the same thing. All y'all could say, oh she from Puerto Rico, she from Puerto Rico. I thought the same shit too. I just found out today, man, that I I was I was used. And I'm not saying the whole time, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm talking about this one situation. The fact that I was lied to, and that's why her mom was at my house. Come here, let me tell you what's going on. I mean, this shit we was going through it for a minute before they even hit the internet. You feel what I'm saying? And it's like her mom had came to my crib. Our crib, she was there for like two weeks before she left. And her mama never stayed that long, I'm telling y'all. You feel me? And like, we got into it a couple of times while her mom there because it just be the stupid shit, but it be arguments, but I used to try to just refrain from the argument, but it's like, you know, her mom, 
And I used to, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not dumb. I'm asking myself, like, even after the argument, I'm like, damn, bro, ain't no way in here my mama just go sit here if I'm a woman and see me arguing with my partner and she ain't even say nothing. She ain't even, she, she, you still acting all nice to me, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ain't no way in here you finna sit here, cuz, and you seeing your daughter, we all, and you just sitting there like, like, like ain't nothing happening. And she was there for two weeks. The whole time that it was, the whole time, like, y'all don't understand. I told y'all, I don't speak Spanish. So I don't be knowing what the fuck they be saying, bro. And I've been telling Carmen to teach me Spanish all the years. She would never teach me. And I was asking my, I, I kept, why, bro, why they won't, won't teach me Spanish, bro? Like, how the hell you speak fluent Spanish and you won't teach me Spanish? I'm trying to learn this motherfucking language. You feel what I'm saying? And I just kept asking myself, like, why the hell you, why, why the person won't teach me this other language? Like, why you won't, why, why you want me to learn how to speak another language? Your language. You feel what I'm saying? So the whole time, I don't know. So I'm watching my cameras. This is coming up to me now. I'm watching my cameras and I'm watching like how her mama just, you know what I'm saying, just they're facilitating a lot of the shit, you know, helping her with her, helping her and all that. So I'm saying to myself, like, a guy go say certain shit. We we're going to test you. We we're going to try you. Like, if, we, if, we, if you saying that this is how you feel, all right, how you feel, show me. Ooh. You feel me? So that's why we do certain shit. Like we'll say certain shit because they're like, y'all females playing and y'all be wasting time. Like, nah, if you serious, show me you serious. I'm not going to play the game with you. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all don't know how this shit feel. To so all my niggas out there, cool. I don't, it's like, and it's like it hit different because I'm not even here to bash him. I found peace. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I found peace. So I'm not here to bash, I found peace. You know what? I'm, I'm at peace now. I can even talk to you now. We can have a conversation, but I'm cool. As long as I'm my boys. You feel what I'm saying? I have accepted the fact that I am elevating in life and I'm going to a whole nother level. And sometimes when you going up, every the person who you with might not be there. So you you got to go and be with somebody that's still at the level you at. I can't continue to be with you because I'm right here now. I'd have, I'd have got here now just mentally, spiritually, everything, and you still here. So it's like, but it's just funny how everything just played out. So now I'm at peace. It's cool. You feel what I'm saying? Like now that I see this, it's like, oh yeah. Ain't gonna come back. And a lot of y'all kept saying, I wonder, I wonder why, I wonder why ain't nothing being said. I wonder, that's why. That's why, was, now I'm, now I'm paying attention to why, cause I don't pay attention to like, why you want to tell your story for real, for real. Cause I kept like, why you want to tell your story? Your story powerful. I would tell a story. But the whole time the story wasn't what I thought the story was. And it just hit different. No wonder why a person can play, play innocent. You can play innocent because, boy, you got a whole load of shit over here where people find out where it will hit different. And the shit that came up, it came out right at the, I was sitting at the table and I, 444 hit, and I just said, you know what, I forgive him. Damn, you know what, fuck. I, I accepted the fact that growth just grew apart. Lies, all that shit, fuck the lies, I fuck all that, because a person will always show their true colors. And goddamn, bro, I get hit with this today. I find this shit out today. Like, just looking at this shit and it's just like, damn, I was being lied to from day one. You lied to me your first message when you told me where you were from. You lied. You ain't even never been to Puerto Rico. You ain't even been, you never even been to Puerto Rico. Never been. A lot of y'all thought I was tripping. I'm not hurt because she's gone. Nigga, I'm mad because of the time. I ain't, you know what? I ain't gonna say that I wasted because I got two beautiful boys out of this situation. You know, I had a great goddamn time. I can't lie. But it just now I'm looking back the whole time. Y'all thought this person was innocent. This person been doing shit the whole time. Because it's still, even on that level, I haven't even spoken on. Because I was just gonna sit back and just trying to see, like, damn, okay. Everybody love bashing me and talk about me. The girls love trying to judge a nigga. Well, let me see if she gonna tell all the shit she did, the chin she did. Let's talk about the niggas that you, let's uh, talk about it. Cause I didn't never say nothing. I just kept it pee, kept it gangster. You go listen to my song, and you go see what I said. Nigga did something I can't tell. I keep my mouth closed. I just chill. I just you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take all the all the punches. Yeah, Corey, you did it. You cheated. You cheated. That person ain't gonna do it, but you ain't gonna tell them like, not one. And then not the, the get not not the fact of the shit that I just found out. So you've been doing shit the whole time. Oh, alright, cool. That's cool. I mean, it's like you can't trip it. That's one thing I got to. You can't trip when you make your mistake, you did your shit, you know what I'm saying? You know you did what you did, you gotta grow from it. So you can't never get mad when another person do some shit. 
But it's it, it hit different. You know what I'm saying? When a person covering up, putting your problems out, making you feel like you a bad guy, making you change, become a better person, and the whole time they ain't even who you thought they were. So I was I'm I was feeling bad because I felt like I was just such a bad person. I made some bad decisions, man. You feel me? Like I'm feeling bad as fuck, and I become a better person. I actually like you know what I'm saying, change and just do everything better. Just to realize that the motherfucker that made me change. You wasn't even who you were the whole time. All the way around. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, man, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I just, I ain't, I was like, you know, I ain't even make, I was gonna make, I tried to make a YouTube video about it. I couldn't even do it. I said, cause it ain't nothing I wanna sit down and edit. I don't even wanna get on my YouTube channel. I, it's just a story, it's, it's the truth, it's out. When y'all see that I'm moving on in life, please leave me alone now. I, I, all I ask y'all, please leave me the hell alone now. Cause I got, Hey, I'm cool. Leave me alone. Let me live my life, cuz. Let me go out here and focus on my music, my career. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even, like, I'm like, I don't know bitter shit at all. I'm cool, gang. You know what I'm saying? It just, now I don't fuck with anybody else say it. I know what's up, man. I know, I, I know the truth. And nobody else could understand this shit unless you another nigga. You know what I'm saying? And you going through the same thing. Everybody else can understand this shit. This shit hit different, bro. Yeah, this shit here, it's like, it's like, damn, my nigga. It's like, so did what it was the whole is that time. <sighs> that shit crazy. That why she quiet. And then, wait, and, and then another thing. Let me tell y'all something. I don't go looking for nothing. I'm gonna just try. I'm, I'm Corey said, "G, I don't go looking for nothing. Shit just comes to me. Like people, y'all, y'all know that. Y'all know y'all gonna send shit. I can't help but see some shit. I don't care. I be knowing shit. But the whole time, all y'all." Oh, you gotta heal. Oh, y'all don't talk to no niggas, don't talk to no girls. Y'all need to heal. But the whole time, she's quiet. But she with a nigga the whole time. I ain't tripping. I don't care. Because she, you gonna do what you wanna do. But it's just funny how the social media paint shit. Y'all be sitting here taking up. The girls still taking up. Stay what women do. So all you niggas out there, y'all try to take something from this. Women are very smart. See us men, see the whole time y'all trying to say that I was with girls and shit, but I wasn't. I'm with my assistant. Y'all clearly see that I'm single. You can't get mad at me because I got a fucking assistant. They need to help me with my shit. They like, wash my cold, clean my shit, handle my business shit. You can't get mad at me because she's fine. Like, I can't get. So, you feel me? Then on top of that, you know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. If y'all want to take it all the way back, then take it all the way back to June real quick before I get on live. Just so I can put y'all in memory lane. Cause I be chilling. I know she's chilling. We're gonna talk about the breakup video. You know the breakup video that we did that went viral? It's a video I got on my laptop right now. I'll go pull it up. It's a whole like seven episode type video that we shot. And we shot it because we were gonna drop it. And we basically me and Carmen we were talking about like, you know, we just we, just, we finally were trying to come out that toxic drama. And we had like it was just doing the summertime, right before all that shit happened. And we was like, you know what, man? Let's drop this video. I got the video. I'm going to show y'all the video. I might have to do a video on this. I, I got the video. It was a positive, lovey shit. You know, I was ready to drop it because I'm ready to move on. And then that's when I went to Neb. You know, the people who she's with now. The people who doing all the production on the videos. See, these are the people that I kind of feel also played a part in fucking a lot of shit up. So... Neb decided to tell us, oh, we feel like you guys should do a breakup video, you know, to get more views and it'll go viral, blase, 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 blase. I tell them, I'm like, nah, I don't want to do that. I ain't on that type of time right now, bro. We, 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 I'm like, we got this positive video. I'm going to drop this. No, I'm, I'm telling y'all. Who. So it, they, they had to pressure me to do it. I didn't want to do it. So I'm like, all right, bro, if it go make sense, I said, if it go make sense, then we're not going to get bad behind this shit because I don't want to be in no drama shit. I don't want to do this. I kept telling them. So, all right, I'm like, fuck it. She want to do it. Like, all right, she want to do that, do it. So that's how we did the video. Now, y'all, y'all talking, y'all did y'all talking to Corey Change. Corey ain't talking to no girls. And she'll tell y'all this. She know this. Corey hold every person. I ain't on no, so that's how I ended up going to Hawaii. I went to Hawaii because I was like, okay, well, we've doing this video shit. It looked like it got it got to look real. So fuck it. Alright, let me go on to Hawaii with my boys real quick. Cause they already going. I'm gonna just go over there with them. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this content. I'm gonna just go over there. And vlog, and I just use a girl over there to make it seem like, yo, you know, so we YouTubers. That's why y'all go to my channel. She found me in Hawaii. But, they were killed it for me.
I'm over here. You know how we roll. You tell me, oh, they Evan and that they them gonna put me on a blind date video, you know. And I'm like, okay, well, who the fuck like a blind date? What's the kind of blind date? Who, who you gonna use? Oh, it's just gonna be somebody that they know. Ooh, ooh. I'm like, you know how I am. We don't play no game. We play no game, man. Then I saw who it was, the, the little gay nigga, I think. My bad, whatever he is. You know, I saw who it was. I went tripping. I'm like, oh, shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? I, it is what it is. Fuck it. Never trip. And I paid attention to how they was putting videos together. <laughs> the other YouTuber girls. Go look at that chick. Go look at Ken's shit. They, they go look at everything. You was already doing a lot of shit. And I'm just sitting back. But y'all ain't saying nothing. It's cool when they do it. But it's a problem when I do it, though. Now, if I go do it, if I take a picture with a female, I'm getting bashed. You know what I'm saying? I do a little video with a female, I get bashed. But when they first did it, it's cool. I ain't never trip. Never trip. I wasn't even on that type of time doing a video on girls. So what happened right there was this, y'all. We basically opened up old wounds right again. We was trying to get out of this shit at the top of shit. Now we back up in this shit. I ain't trip. Fuck it. It is what it is. Ever since then, that's when shit just been weird. Oh, everybody tell y'all. Everybody around my, my cousins, my uncle, goddamn my mama, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn everybody around me, they, they, they'll tell y'all that they all was witnessing this shit the whole time. So it's plenty of people that's inside our group, that's inside my game, my family, that can tell, they saw this shit. Y'all, it's a lot of shit that went on behind closed doors that y'all don't see because I never wanted to go on there and do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, now you know what, I just take it to the guy, Charles with the guy, you feel me? The only time y'all ever see me on the bitches with chin shield or any type of shit like that, that's it. It's a whole bunch of other shit that I really didn't even never speak on. I just kept it quiet. I was speaking on it now because it's like it's, it's clarity, it's peace now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, okay, let everything out on the table real quick. This is what's going on. Like, damn, I right, bet. Say this. Cool. You feel what I'm saying? So, I say that to say this, man. The situation deeper than what y'all think it is. And it ain't no choosing sides in this situation at all. You know what I'm saying? You can like me, you don't like me. But if you, are, if you don't like me, cuz, put yourself in my shoes. And that shit happened to your ass. How would you feel? Tell me that. See, like I just said on my vlog. I was on my vlog, but I'm not going to edit it. So I said on live, I say, a lot of people just love to blame the, the goal in the past and pull shit from the past to judge you with, right? I understand it. I get it. Because you don't got nothing else. Tell me something I'm doing now. I don't worry about the past. The past is already done. The two things you get from the past. You can continue to goddamn go down the same road that you were going down being a dummy. Or you can take the past, the past as an ill, which is a lesson. You can learn from the past. So I learned from everything that I've been through. That's how. That's why I'm, I am who I am today. You can't judge me for shit that I did in the past. If you want to judge me for it, then you need to look at how I came from that. You know what I'm saying? How I grew from that. Judge that part. Don't judge that the nigga did the shit. Judge that damn, okay, he did what he did. He learned from the fuck. All right, cool, sis. But it's like, yo... Nigga ain't no none of that no more. Nigga passed all that. I'm cool now. It like this. I want y'all to just see the truth of what it really is, dog. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta feel me, y'all. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I ain't, gonna be, I ain't gonna be a fuck, nigga. Like, when I found that shit out in the restaurant, I made a billion dollar job. I gotta say this shit again. Because it's still unbelievable. Y'all might think a nigga lying. Like I say, but y'all go see. Put this on my dead sister. Do not say that that nigga was not that nigga did that nigga was not lying. He was on live. He told us this shit. God willing. Listen, I was at a billion dollar meeting today, and even 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 Jay, the guy that was there, had to come over there. And, you know what I'm saying? Him, my bad. He was like he understand what I'm going through. I don't know how God put us together, but he went through the same shit. He said that he was up. He got married at a young age and in college. They set him up. Ooh, ooh. And so, how is it amazing? How is it a coincidence that God put? Somebody in my life that went through the same shit at this damn table with, having this meeting with. When I was telling him what was going on, I was just telling him. And it's so crazy how I found out, because I was literally just talking to him. I was telling him, like, like damn, this is how I met him. We were just having a conversation. I said, nah, this is how I met him, bro, right here. Ooh, ooh. And then I'm looking at the messages, and as I'm talking to him, and I'm explaining to him, and I'm looking, and I'm reading him. I'm like, hold on, she said I'm from Puerto Rico. And I asked her, you still live? And she said, yes. 
And then everything just dawned it back on me. Like, hold on, whoa, 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 no, that ain't how the story was. She said, you walk my dirt, you walk seven days, eight nights. How you how you say you from Puerto Rico? How, hold on, hold on, what's going on? Man? And I ain't gonna I just started crying. I, I did it, I just started crying. It was like tears of like, nigga, I was lying to the whole fucking time, bro. And then fucking know it, nigga. All these years. Boy, that shit. Cr do you know how crazy that is? Because it's real. This shit is real. Women really do this shit. R women really. Man. Y'all got me some. That shit's so crazy. All right, y'all. I'm gone. I'm gone. It is what it is. Cause, uh, I ain't tripping on it. It's like now I can move on with peace. I can really live my life in peace now. I ain't got to have all these questions. The only thing I would say is this here. I just want to spend time with my kids. That's it. I just want, I want, I just want to spend time. I just want to take care of my boys. I want to just, I want to just, you know what I'm saying, be a man and just make sure I take care of my kids. It's all that matters. But you know, that's why I got this in my house. None of y'all understand how powerful it is to me. My pastor gave me this on Christmas. For Christmas, for Christmas view. You know what I'm saying? And I can put on my story because nobody understands how this feels right here. You feel me? Until you this person here, then come talk to me. We could be best friends, I promise you. If you this person, we could be best friends. Don't bullshit you. I don't mind fucking with you if you this nigga. Because I know for a fact nobody might not understand you, but I understand you. Don't never forget that. If nobody don't understand you, I of course understand you. Nobody understand this person right here. Because everybody be too busy trying to do this right here. And do this right here. Nobody never understand what the fuck it feel like to hold this shit up. Just for motherfuckers to just climb up and just shit on you. You know what I mean? Turn it back on you, you feel me? Talk about your friends, your family, the ones who you love the most. And your biggest hater is never from a motherfucking stranger. You believe that. I always remember that. Your biggest hater is never from a stranger, bro. There'll always be somebody close to you. Straight up. They know you better than a stranger. So, all right, man. I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to probably... I don't know. Shit, I'm going to edit this. I'm going to edit this video. This shit's so funny. This shit funny. This shit crazy. This shit is mind blowing. I still can't read this. I had to call my mama. And my mama even said, my mama said, see, I told you. And I'm listening to my mama. I'm just like, boy... You told me, cause you, you asked me. She asked me. She she been my mama been said she didn't want to get in my bed, but she just been said she just something right. Nah, mom, nah, mom, it's good, man. Mom, you tripping? Crazy how you go get your own family members and the whole time they telling you they see the signs and you too blind to see the signs and you got to find out long years down the road. That shit hit different. That shit hit different, cause it would have been different if I knew this, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Oh God, let me say this on live. It would have been different if I knew this years ago. I just found this shit out today. Okay? Now, I've I, I been had found out that she's an immigrant and all that. But I just found out today, bro, <laughs> that you knew the whole time. You lied. Your whole intention was to get married and try to get your paper. That's why I didn't tell y'all. That's why I didn't tell y'all. I ain't tell y'all this. I had got into the whole June shit, the whole videos. So, I said it to say this. Couple months ago, we had to go to the office and see what was the process. Cause I, I used to always be on her ass, but it's like, yo, what the lawyer talking about? Like, what's going on? It seemed like she never cared about, bro. It seemed like she never really too bit too much cared about it. Cause like years going by, and I'm like, yo, what is going on? I paid money for this lawyer. What's going on? And we went down there just a couple months ago and, to see what the process was. I don't lie to y'all. I'm my dead sister. I'm lying or flying. My hand was crossed, and I was hoping, I was like, man, you know what? I just had faith. I'm like, you know, man, I'm going to get some good news, bro. Hopefully, she can be able to get something as soon as possible, quick. When I met a lady said, oh, well, yes, um, we got this part in, this application in, and this application could take up to one to two years. So when she said that, y'all, I was just sitting there, and I looked at her, and I just dropped my head. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, bro. Because what y'all feel to realize, I can't do nothing. I can't travel. She can't. Well, I can, but she can't travel. She ain't go out the country. She ain't do none of that. I didn't want to go out the country. I didn't want to go all the way around the world without her. You feel what I'm saying? I was like, nah, if I got to sacrifice not going to see 
the real with you, I wait on you. And that's what I did. Now imagine how would you feel. You feel like all this time you could have been knowing in your heart you can go and do all this shit. There's all this amazing shit you can go do it. I can go do this. I can go do that. I can go explore this. I can go here. I can go there. I can do all this shit. And I, I, I chose not to. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like, bro, you know. Y'all gotta just, you know, man. I ain't, it is what it is. Y'all gonna pick y'all, 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 y'all gonna pick what y'all like. But all I say is this right here, cause I don't give a fuck who a person is, what y'all like about a person. If that was you, how would you feel? Put yourself in those shoes, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even here to bash nobody. That's the crazy part. I, 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 it ain't no bashing, my nigga. I ain't, I ain't even mad no more. I promise, I'm not even mad, bro. I'm far from mad now. It's just like, it's just more of just like shocking. It's like, damn, my nigga, this shit crazy, my nigga. I, I would have never, I would have never, and then it's like, for a person, to be like, yeah, he different. But, man, y'all have no clue, bro. This shit here, man, I love y'all, we're going to keep going, we're going to keep popping shit, you know what I'm saying, we're going to stay on top of the game. We're going to just continue, I'm going to drop this. I think, I think, to be honest with y'all, the, the, the songs going to do justice in itself. I got three, four songs. After these songs, you feel me, it's like this situation kind of like, it's all good, you feel me? Like, after this, I'm, I'm, I'm cool, like, I'm cool. I'm cool, but after, after, the, after the song drop, after the music video drop, you know what I'm saying? After I just, ain't no telling, you know what I'm saying? Nine times out of ten, I'm going to be on podcasts and interviews and shit. I really don't want it too much, too much, too much. I ain't going to lie to y'all. Like, after that, I, I promise y'all, like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody said, ain't no way y'all believe that. You gonna tell, so you gonna tell somebody, ain't no way they believe that. Say what wrong with some of these bitches. Let me get them hoes on my line. Some of these bitches get on my nerve, bro. You think I'm gonna just sit here and just cap about this whole shit, bro? Do I need to pull some shit up for you? Do I need to pull this shit up? That, that's the funny thing. I'm, I'm chilling because, I'm chilling because it's like, I really can pull up, the, 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 but the shit won't let me pull up the pictures and shit. I can show y'all why are the kids being kept away. You know, shit, I mean, let me, let me be real with y'all, bro. We know why. A woman go always keep, the, I mean, I, just them games they play. A woman, you know, one, most of y'all females, I ain't got too much talk about that. Like, y'all got kids, bro. That one thing about the internet that I hate, I hate when I go on the internet sometimes, and you know, y'all get on rich people's lives, y'all get on famous people's lives, and y'all act like y'all just... You feel what I'm saying? Perfect. Y'all act like y'all ain't never been through nothing. Bro, you females, y'all know how y'all are, bro. Not, not all y'all, but majority of y'all know how y'all are. Everybody always get on the internet and act perfect. You feel what I'm saying? But in real life, when the cameras are off, when y'all y'all ain't famous, y'all going through the same shit. You going through shit with your baby daddy. You know for a fact y'all fighting. Y'all fighting with your baby daddy. You know for a fact y'all got kids. You know if you mad at that nigga, you ain't trying to let that nigga see the kids. You know what I'm saying? It just kills me when you get on this internet and everybody acts so perfect. Like, everybody act like they don't go through nothing. You act like you never cheated. So, you mean to tell me you never cheated? You never text another nigga? You never did nothing in your relationship? You perfect. But you on the internet judging somebody else. You on the internet laughing at somebody else. But you going through the same shit. So, it's like, it, you know, that's why I never really too much. Like, I need motherfucker on the internet, bro. Fuck these folks. These folks be acting so perfect. Cause knowing y'all are going through the same shit. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? People be capping so fucking hard. And that's what I hate about the internet because it's just like, bro, it's not like nobody on here trying to like act like, you know, like this shit not normal. We're not trying to normalize it, but it's real life. Like, I'm not normalizing a couple to go through shit. I'm not normalizing for you to cheat. I'm not normalizing for you to goddamn fight with, fight with your partner. This shit is human nature. It's like... But y'all be on the internet, y'all be doing too much. <laughs> y'all be capping so fucking hard. Y'all be capping. Somebody said she's still your wife. No, I'm getting divorced. Y'all keep hollering all this wife shit. Listen here. I am getting a full divorce. I'm in the process. Bro. I'm already, I'm on a, I got the lawyer already. You feel what I'm saying? I done talked my lawyer already. I told him and he, and I told him, like, yo, no, I'm not playing. I'm serious. Like, go ahead and get a divorce. You feel me? Like, we can get this shit set up. And y'all feel to realize it's just going to hit different. I ain't worried about nothing. Y'all talking about something. Have, go back in here. I keep telling y'all. You feel what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, listen, I, ain't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think y'all really can get in my body. I understand. Like, if you get in my body and you see the, 
They're like, duh. Like, nigga, I'm not bullshitting. Why y'all think a nigga tripping? Y'all think I'm playing? I'm so serious. Somebody said, why is it on your mind so heavy, though? Why is it on my mind so heavy? See, and this is where I have to educate some people, because some people just be dumb as fuck. You see her asking me, why is it that a person, I just found out that a person lied to me about their status, and I got married at 18 years old, thinking otherwise, I, 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 I got fooled. I fell for a sad story, my nigga, and the whole time, they was able to just hold on to this. Because I was, let me tell you how really it is. Let me show y'all something. This is how you know. This is how you know because of a, let me, let me show y'all something. Okay. Hey. This is how you know right here. When I had seen this in my bathroom when I left, this is how I know it. This, this is how I, it, it just, it just makes sense. If you really, if you really was serious about something, you would, you would have took this. You would have took this. This is marriage, marriage certificate right here. Certification, certification of marriage. You know what I'm saying? You see it. Court by Teddy Pritchard Jr. Karma and Lena Dunes. Ain't no joke, my nigga. This shit real life. You better here with me. Y'all think I just be capping, huh? And we're wrong, child. Y'all gotta stop thinking that. Bro, come on, bro. I'm not, nigga. I'm not one of the niggas to get on here and try to do shit for clout. Do shit for attention. You think this is some serious shit? You think I'm gonna sit here? I still got my son's birth certificate. I got my son's birth certificate. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Katie. That's Katie's birth certificate. This CJ feet. This CJ stuff. If, if you really you care about your kids so much, but you couldn't even, but you you, you left a birth certificate, you you left all this shit that you use that story saying that you care about your kids so much. Oh, it's the kids, the kids, the kids. We know the truth. We tripping. We, we I, I know the truth. I, I know like how how it was with the kids at home. I know that ain't necessarily the case. But I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. You a good mother. We ain't gonna do that. But. But y'all wanna get on here and bash me though. Y'all want that don't trip it. I just wanted to talk so bad without being bashed because I want y'all to see the truth. Like this is the fucking truth, my nigga. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like nigga, I'm not hurt. I'm far from hurt. Too many bad bitches in this room. So I'm far from hurt. I promise you. It's just some it's just like damn. <laughs> so you know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all see it for what it really is now. Nah, I ain't even got to sit here and y'all. You know what? Uh, I'm going right here. Let me see. I got something for y'all before we go for real, for real. I'm putting it on the charge. Yeah, it's sure. It is you, it is you, gang. Okay? He not hurt. Thank you. I'm more disappointed like a motherfucker. <laughs> Bro. I'm done on that. So y'all wasn't playing the time for sure. Oh, sure. Let me see. I'm going to show y'all something. One more thing before I get out here. This shit crazy. I ain't going to lie. This shit crazy, though, bro. That shit so crazy. Finding that shit out. That shit, that shit, that shit, that hit different. I'm like, damn, I'm like, bro. It is what it is. Y'all female be trying to take, take up for the females. Y'all not even living good at home right now with y'all boyfriend and baby dad is crazy. Bro, oh, God, baby, so crazy. But, you know, like I, like I say, though, man, it, it ain't about that, though, bro. It really ain't. Like, once you, man, once you, once you become famous, bro, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know. You start seeing more people than the average person because they're not famous. You able to see how people are. So a lot of y'all see shit, but y'all don't see shit. You gotta become you. And you once you famous, my nigga, and you have a name yourself, and you starting to see all this shit yourself. You see how the, how how people are on the internet. It don't bother you anymore. You just see how people are, baby. The internet is where people come at to cap the most because they feel safe. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I could get on here and say whatever because nobody don't know me. But in reality, if they were to know me in real life, I won't say this in real life because I won't be able to act like this in real life. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know. You know, that's all it is. I post on my story like y'all. Huh? Now y'all be judging. Uh, for real, for real. That shit just weird, though, you know? That's my, I like the comments off. I got you. Nah, bro, I'm trying, man. I'm trying to, I'm running my phone to charge up. Soon this phone come on, I'm going to show y'all this message. I'm going to let y'all read the message y'all said just so y'all can see it. And when y'all see the message, then, you know what I'm saying? That's just enough. That's just enough clarification right there. Y'all going to see this nigga ain't bullshit. I'm going to tell y'all, you got to think about it. Y'all are investigators, all right? All y'all be acting like y'all investigators. All y'all be like, oh, they don't seem real. They're not. All right, say this. I'm going to let you see it, and you tell me where it makes sense at. So, if it makes sense to you, then I ain't cool with this. But the average person who see this shit, y'all gonna be like, y'all gonna see, okay, that's a nigga lying. Like, damn, okay, right, ooh, okay, ooh. This, 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 that shit that make you say, ooh. I don't know how they gonna be turned out. But you know. Let me show y'all something. And then on top of that, another thing, I hate to bring this up, but it just, I'm, just think about it. Y'all all bashing me, talk about something, oh, he don't care about his kids. He don't want to be riding his kids, none of this shit. I'm over here trying to see my kids, and the whole time you the gave the kids to your mama like you always been doing, and you with a whole other nigga. <laughs> it's like, but if it was me though, if it was me, nah, I swear to God, y'all would be eating my ass alive right now, bro. Y'all already did it, because y'all thought that I would talk to them girls I took pictures with. The whole time I wasn't. I did that shit literally because I just knew y'all was going to talk. Like, I was like, let me just get them something to eat on they finna think that a nigga moved on. They finna think that a nigga. Let me just go viral real quick. Fuck it. I'm like, yeah, why not? Like, it's an open door to go viral right now. Like, hey, they think you did fucking. I'm a content creator. <clears throat> I went and did content. Just took pictures down. I only, ain't, didn't even. I didn't even know none of them girls. I didn't even know the toxic girl. I didn't know the Mexican girl. I didn't know none of them girls. I just they were cool in real life in person. We just did content and that was it. But y'all judge me though. Y'all, y'all on my top. Oh, you moving too fast. How am I moving too fast? I can't work. <laughs> I can't do videos. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I, and then can't take no pictures. You're like, damn, okay, cool. I didn't know I can't do that now. I, I didn't know. All right, here we go. This bitch is not finally coming on, so give me a second. Let me go show you this shit. Okay, I'm going to try to read this shit to myself. Yeah, and I don't even know my kids that. Like, yeah. Like, bro, females are so dope and standard, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. Yo, y'all are so dope and standing, bro. Like, females, y all y'all, and, 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 and you know what? I'm going to tell y'all something. And, and, and put, the, put the females to the side for a second. To all the men out here, real quick. Because this shit happened today and yesterday. Me and Fat Boy SAE, like, we going through the same shit. And me and him was chopping it up last night. We were sitting down with the top. We like, man, you know what, bro? Men need this shit because we need to let this shit out, bro. You know what I'm saying? We need other people that's going through what we going through to talk to because we be balling this shit inside because we be trying to express ourselves. But motherfuckers act like they can't understand what we going through. So we need someone that can really, you know what I'm saying, we can relate to and let this shit out. So that for niggas don't be tweaking because there's other men out here that deal with the shit different. That you can get advice from, you know what I'm saying? From you crashing out. So, I can hear the message right here. Check this out. I'm going to let y'all see it real quick. Boom. All right. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to let y'all, I'm going to let y'all be the judge. Y'all are my judge. Y'all go, y'all go, y'all go tell me. Y'all go be the juror real quick. Before we get done. Y'all go be the juror real quick. Check this out. Top flight. Where you from? Puerto Rico. You currently live there? Look at me. Yes. But the whole time she was in my Gurmy, Alabama. I'd rather, I'd rather you hit me up uh, liking my pictures. And then I said, text me, 334-334-672. She said, gotcha. I said, all right. All right. But if you was from... But if you was from Puerto Rico, you know what I'm saying? And a month later, you tell me that you walk from a whole other country to this country.
And y'all think I'm over this bitch just capping. And it's crazy because, listen, this, this, so I'm going to tell y'all why I'm disappointed. Because how the fuck I didn't see this shit. Like, I don't know how, like, I swear to God, on Jesus Christ, y'all, I don't know all these years how, why I never, I don't know. I just never, it never crossed my mind to just put two and two together and to see that this shit was a lie. It's crazy. The whole time you was lying, you was lying from the beginning. Now, fuck all of that. You was lying. Fuck the fuck the, the, the shit. The shit. You can't even judge me for cheating no more. <laughs> you can't even judge me for cheating no more. You for making my mistakes, nigga. For fucking up. I was lied to from day one. I was lied to on the first. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> the second response I get from you, you lie. You lied on the second response I got from you. I've been judged all these goddamn years, and you lied to me the second conversation that we had. Like, I, with a, like for the first conversation, like, you, you know, like, shit crazy. Like, <sighs> I don't know, y'all. I, I, I guess. I guess, bro. She got you, dog. She got me. I got, got. I got, got. It's cool though, guys. We even. It's cool. I swear, it's cool. We even. That's the mother of my child, of my kids. You know what? I did my dirt. You know what I'm saying? You got cheated on. You got your heart broken. The whole time, power was in God's plan for it to happen because he knew damn well you was lying to me. We even. It cool. Straight. We done with this shit, y'all. Leave it alone. Now y'all see Corey one bullshit. I just, I, that's why I'm here. I'm peace. I'm at peace, bro. I finally get to let this shit out, bro. I finally get to let the truth out, bro. I feel fucking good, my nigga. It's like, I feel good, nigga. I'm finna go outside and I'm finna go get me something. What time it is? It's 8 o'clock? I'm, I'm in Miami. We in Miami, my nigga. I'm finna go do my big one. <laughs> hey, so look. And another thing. You know, I just want to go out and just live life and have fun. I'm a single man. I'm going to keep this on live. I am a single man. I am not looking to be in a relationship right now. I'm just going to live life. I'm going to focus on my music, my business, you know, all my other investments, everything that's going to happen. I'm going to just live life. Y'all might see me around females at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? I'd rather hang around females rather than hang around lame-ass niggas any day. You feel me? Now, I ain't trying to say all you niggas lame, but listen, I'm just going to live my life. I'm going to go do my big one. Leave me alone. Y'all just let me mind my bed now, okay? Somebody's gonna go cry. Come on, bro. I'm not gonna go get in your bitch. Relax. <laughs> you tripping. It's definitely the other way around, but I'm telling y'all, I'm not hurt. I can't I can't make this shit up, bro. Like, and I'm not trying to play hard. I'm really just being me. But I hope that some niggas is taking this shit in. Like, hey bro, I could have crashed out just then, but like you when you know your truth, don't don't, don't crash out. Time gonna fold. God waited till I said, I, all right, I forgive her in peace. And it gave me clarity. No cap. The next day, the next day, at 831 right now, you know I'm doing the sign shit. Yeah, you, you heard my song. She claims she, she claims she focused on herself but still get her back beat through the board. Pull up in cats and hawks, I make them talk, you hear these bitches roar. My lyrics is deep. She say she focused on herself. That's what you told me, but you get your back beat through the board. Cause she a little freak freak now. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. Oh yeah. She loves she love to get down now. She, let motherfucker freak in. <laughs> so, so I can, you know, it ain't no, it ain't no other way around it, my nigga. Like shit. <laughs> I'm just being for real, for real. It's like, hey, I, it is what it is, gang. I ain't tripping. Somebody I'm hurt. I don't know why y'all females. I tell you what. Hold on, y'all. I, I, I got this. I do. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Where you at? You, you come on. Let me show you what hurt look like in real life. Come over here. Let me just experience with me for a second. I want you to go back and tell real that nigga really hurt. <laughs> you come in my, you come in my life for real. You come tell me. Let me take my damn phone. I ain't been in my phone so fucking long. Oh, shit. God damn. That's how you don't get my phone.
I just I open that bitch up. All these, this is all you see. I don't be on these phones. Yeah, man. But all right, bro. Come on, I said you be thinking about that dude. <laughs> bro, relax, trip. Bro, I'm a real nigga, bro. You gotta think about it, bro. Like nigga, I pip it. You know, nigga, just be a, watch so many phones. Because sometimes one go dead and when that bitch go dead and I be like trying to charge it up and it take too long. I'm I don't I, I'm a, like when that shit take too long, I just go grab other another phone. And then if it don't got that, it'll be dead, nigga. Sometimes like I ain't gonna lie to you, I get in my mode where I just don't feel like talking to people because everybody be trying to talk to me. So certain phones, certain people got those numbers. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like some days I swear I just I put that bitch down, turn it off. That phone will be up for like two days. So you if you if you text me or you hit me up. I promise you, I wouldn't even know. Because it's like, I had to do this shit, bro. Because I swear to God, like, I don't be having no peace in my life, bro. My phone's always fucking ringing like a motherfucker. I always want to talk. Everybody hit me up. Everybody want to talk to me. Everybody did it. And, like, every day, if I, if I sit down and I just, y'all will see me be on the phone. The bitch ring. I'll be on the phone for, like, an hour talking, bidding with somebody. And if they ain't know, the bitch ring another 30 minutes. I'll be on the phone for, like, 45 minutes. So I know that I'll talk to somebody else. And it be all good shit, but like I never find time for real, for real. Like just let me go out here and just live my life, niggas. Like, it's always phone calls. So, you know, I had to just put that on myself. Like, fuck that shit, cuz. I gotta take that time myself, my nigga. Put this shit down. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Turn that shit off. And yeah, like fuck all that. I be trying to be normal, bro. You know what I'm saying? Somebody said, I'm happy, can you live? It's all good, you happy. Everybody keeps saying that she never. I live. Y'all don't understand. I, I wish I was there. Like I wish I was able to see it. Because have you bitches to be looking stupid as hell because you wouldn't even handle it for a nigga to just up and leave your ass like that too. Because a nigga get tired of shit. When a nigga, when a nigga get tired, yeah. You know what's so funny? Females always love to go to like. Oh, when a woman get tired, when a woman checked out, she's mentally checked out. Oh, the table was the whole opposite way this time, bitch. I was tired. I'm tired of taking care of motherfuckers. I'm tired of trying to help a motherfucker. I'm trying to try, I'm tired of trying to put a motherfucker on. You know what I'm saying? Somebody say, ain't no real nigga come to the end of the crime. Ain't no who crying. You see tears in my eyes? Damn, bitch. Seem like your ass need to go to school. Talk about a real nigga with your dumb ass. Talk about some crime. Anyway, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all always try to make it seem like that. Oh, it's just a female. Nah, bitch. What the fuck are you talking about? I hey look. And, I, and then how I did it, I think I'm bullshit, I swear to God. Just so y'all hold this, see how real this shit is. Hey, come here, let me talk to you real quick. Come on my side. I sat so fucking far. <laughs> I sat way you come on the side of the porch. I sat down, we turned around her face. How you feel? I don't know. I don't know. Like, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? Ooh. Dryness. Yeah. Well, look, you know what? I thought about it. I made my mind up. It is what it is. I feel like we should just end this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't go. We all might well just end it and be, you know, good turn and just move on. And just do that. You feel what I'm saying? Because it ain't working out. It was dry. See what I had to say? Like, after I said, I got up. I walked out. Nigga, what the fuck are you talking about? And it's like, like I tried to do it in silence. She came to the internet for the audience. I did it. I tried to do it in silence. You see what I'm saying, my nigga? So it's like, y'all keep trying to make it seem like a nigga. Her, y'all keep trying to make it seem like a... I'm telling y'all, like, if y'all know how this shit happened, you wouldn't even be saying the shit you're saying. If I had to put this shit on YouTube, I would have vlogged this shit. All y'all would be in the comments, the whole office shit. I, and it's funny because that's why I, you got to understand social media. Social media is one of the most wishy-washy places because people will act like they support you. And, 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 and you got people that fuck with you, but you got people that act like they support you, right? Only when it's beneficial or it, or if it's what they like. If they don't like it, then they gonna act like they hate you. You know what I'm saying? They gonna act like, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. But it's like, yo, bro, if I were to drop this shit in a video and y'all saw it exactly how it happened, you would be over here talking about something. Oh, I'm sorry, I feel sorry for you. I'm glad you did this. But the fact that y'all don't know the real truth and y'all just want to go with the other person, y'all agreeing with that person. But until y'all see that old oh, shit, oh, yeah. Like, so it's just like, that's why, I, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just, I just laugh at people, you feel me? Like, the real, the real note. The one who don't know is fucking folks. You motherfuckers ain't talking about me. Yeah, shit.
always believe the baby mama and not the baby daddy. Yeah. And not facts. You know what I'm saying? No, we believe, Corey, we do. <laughs> go outside, go play outside. I'm gonna play too, bro. I'm gonna go play outside, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, I'm gonna go out and have a little fun, man. Sometimes I thought you were done with the situation. I was done with the situation. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I was done, bro. Until the day I really. See, I was done with the situation for what it was. Like, nigga, I know why I left and all that shit. But today, I found out that that's the, the, the motherfucker, the whole time you lied about being from Puerto Rico and. I got married. You like y'all, you, you and your mama knew what y'all was doing the whole time. Y'all set me up, and that's why I got married. When I found that out today, it was like, oh, I thought I was done with this shit. Oh, hell no. You mean tell me, you know what I'm saying? I feel like you would feel the same way too. It's like you thought everything, you, you let some shit go, the next thing you know, a bigger, a bigger fish come out the woodworks that you didn't expect at all. It's like, hold up, wait a minute. Like, you can't be real. You feel what I'm saying? That's different. It hit different. You feel me? Like, nigga, I was lied to and I was fooled and got married. So if y'all hoes think that I don't got no, I don't got no reason to feel the way I feel, you can go jump off a bridge and die. Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> you can go, cuz, cause it's like, ain't no way in here, y'all gonna, and they went wrong with the internet. And that's why I keep talking to the niggas. All y'all niggas, y'all. Oh,